I had a series of visions when I was younger. And after each one ended, the same thought would be stuck in my head. What did you see? I saw a nun. Sister Irene, um, she hasn't taken her final vows yet. Even though she's full of faith and she's devout to, to her Lord, she also has that tiny bit of questioning deep down inside her. You know, the church has always told her, oh, these, these visions are a gift from God. But I think part of Sister Irene would like that confirmed. How do, how do you know these visions aren't coming from, from something much more sinister? The Abbey has a long history. Valak, not all good. Getting the script for this movie called The Nun, I was sort of gradually aware that this is, and this is like a gothic horror movie. And it, and it, and it was sort of, reminded me of movies I loved growing up, watching. There's more of it. Another puzzle. Father, is this our answer to whether the grounds are still holy? It's a phenomenal thing to be able to film on location where the movie's actually set. The movie's set in 1952 in Romania. Being able to be there in this beautiful country that has such a history, has such a soul, has such a gothic, eerie energy, which is exactly what we needed for the backdrop of our film. You know, we got lucky to be able to, to film there and, and you know half the half the hard work's done is when you're you're filming in these old these old castles that have been there for years and years and years, you know, it doesn't require much, especially from the actors. You don't have to <laughs> conjure up anything. It's just it's all there. You just have to exist and, and be and react. And whatever happens, whatever you may see or hear, keep your eyes forward and don't stop praying. The uh, production design in this film is just fabulous, it's fantastic. Of course, yes, you have the real scenarios, the real locations, but uh, every single detail, you know, you, uh, that they, they reproduced the 50s so nicely, and uh, the wardrobe design and all that, every detail, every element that was given to us was key to, you know, uh, be able to portray this. Evil with your holy life! When, when she was in character, I, I personally couldn't look at her. You know, there was this scene where I was praying alone, and Corinne told me, okay, and then you feel something, and you kind of sort of try to turn back, and you know there's a presence there. And then I knew Bunny was there, uh, dressed as the uh, demonic nun. And just, just to know that she was there, that alone made the whole thing very easy.